Recently, I've noticed that there's been a surge in YouTube videos titled How to Get Ahead of 99% of Other Civil Engineers, or insert engineer type. While the intentions of these videos are good and focus on how you can work on your individual self to better your engineering career, the mindset that they promote on a larger industry-wide scale isn't necessarily a good thing in my opinion. That's because this topic can perpetuate the idea that success in engineering is about outdoing your peers, climbing the corporate ladder faster, and essentially leaving others behind in pursuit of professional gain. But wait a minute, let's pause for a moment and reconsider this mindset. Is this truly what being an engineer is about? Shouldn't we, after all, as professionals, be focused on collaboration and innovation and community? The point I'm trying to make is instead of striving to just get ahead, we should be advocating for a profession on a whole. We all know my channel focuses on civil structural, more specifically structural engineering, so this is what we'll be focusing on moving forward in the video. Civil engineering is about building the foundations of our society on a literal level. It's about solving complex problems, improving infrastructure, and enhancing the quality of life for all. So what can we do to shift this mindset? Well, for one, it starts with coming together as a community of civil structural engineers. We need to support and uplift one another, share knowledge and experiences, and most importantly, advocate for the value of our services, big time. I get that we can't all just be one big happy family all the time. After all, this is a business that generates money for our livelihoods. It's understandable that some may hesitate to share their experiences openly. There's a fear of losing your competitive edge, especially in a field as competitive as engineering. After all, if everyone knows what you know and what you can do, what sets your firm apart to be different from the others? And don't get me wrong, it's a valid concern, but it's important to remember that collaboration and knowledge sharing ultimately benefits everyone. By hoarding information, we not only hinder the progress of our industry, but also limit our own potential for growth and innovation. You can do a ton of self-study and become an incredible engineer, but if you never share your experiences or talk with other engineers and have them share theirs with you, you'll never get that well-roundedness uh, that a truly seasoned engineer gets in their career. Instead of viewing sharing as a risk, we should see it as an opportunity to elevate our profession as a whole. By contributing to the collective knowledge pool, we can tackle bigger challenges, explore new avenues of innovation, and ultimately raise the bar of excellence in civil engineering. Another major challenge that our profession faces is the tendency to undercut each other in project pursuit by lowering our fees. While it may seem like this is a strategic move to secure contracts, it's actually detrimental to the integrity of our industry. I mean, let's face it, over the years, this practice has eroded the value of our services and allowed clients to take advantage of our expertise. By engaging in a race to the bottom with each other, we undermine the very foundation of our industry. Instead of fighting amongst ourselves for scraps, we need to band together and advocate for the true worth of our work. Civil engineering, after all, is not just about completing tasks or solving problems. All of us in the industry know it's about creating sustainable solutions that have a lasting impact on our society for the better. One of the most concerning aspects of the undercutting problem is that many of us continue to demand excellence in the work that we provide, even when we've negotiated fees that don't reflect reflect the work required. I mean, let's be real. As engineers, we're passionate about our work. We thrive on challenges and we take pride in delivering innovative solutions that meet the highest standard of quality and safety. But it's sort of paradoxical when you think about it. This dedication often leads us to accepting lower fees than we deserve, simply because we love what we do. And while this passion is admirable, it also contributes to the undercutting that continues to happen within our industry. We not only undervalue our own skills and expertise, but also perpetuate the belief that our work is somehow less valuable than it truly is. It's time for us to recognize our worth as engineers. We can't continue to demand excellence while allowing ourselves to be undervalued in the marketplace. It's just not sustainable. And over the years, I think it's proven to be a problem since top talent and younger, the next generations are moving to other engineering professions other than our own. Let's start backing why our work is worth more. Together, we can elevate the standards of our profession and ensure a brighter future for civil engineering and bring in the next generation of engineers and prove why our profession is worth pursuing. Let me know in the comments down below what you think on this topic. I know it touches every single firm in the industry, so your opinion matters. Let me know. Otherwise, as always, this is Rich with Team Kesteva, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.